and fathers be ready to kill for their children. I don't care what nobody says. What's up, y'all? This is Osa, and you are now tuned into Verse TV. That's hashtag Verse TV. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Can you speak to the importance of maintaining a positive and productive relationship with the mother of your child, even after the romance has ended, and tips on how to do so? Please. Man, yeah, that is tough. It is tough in a lot of cases, and I see um, a lot of us struggling. It's a two-part thing. It's a really two-part thing. I'm very fortunate. I'm, I, I can't even lie. I'm very fortunate in, in, in my situations because I, um, I have three different children. They got three different moms. So wow, I'm fortunate. interesting. Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know I can speak about it. I'm, I'm fortunate, though. I, you know, I got to give kudos to their mothers for uh, being intentional about, you know, having me at, in, in the child's life, right? That's key. Because if the mom didn't believe that I belong there or it didn't want me there, you'd be talking to a whole different person right now. So the the the, the value of both parties um, is important. And so and then also to to maintaining the positive relationship, I think um, I guess from the male perspective, from the father's side, being uh, patient, patience is really really key. And a lot of us get really frustrated really early on because we're trying to force things or we're trying to feel validated because there's not a lot of validation for black fathers, period. All from the prenatal phase to after the baby is born, there's just, just not a lot of value. We're mistreated a lot of times by the mother of the child. We're mistreated by the, the people in the hospital, the doctors, the nurses, all they, they don't they don't care about us. And then, you know, the court system, right? So we get really frustrated and fathers be ready to kill for their children. I don't care what nobody says. Men care about their children. They be ready to kill. And, and you know, we had to be patient, though. We got to understand and play the long game. And with one of my children, I feel like, you know, she, you know, my, like my daughter, she's just she's she's 12. Right. And it took 12 years for us to really have the relationship that I want, that I thought. Now, I could have forced it or tried to force it years ago, but I'm, I'm really realizing the value of patience. Man, that patience is such a virtue. As a father, you have to, I feel like it's important to be steadfast and continuously believe in yourself, even when everything around you tells you that you're not valuable and that you don't matter. So that's one way. There's, 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 you know, a whole lot of other ways. I think mothers have a whole lot of power. I think women have a lot more power than they've been made to believe, especially mothers. You know, mothers can do a lot. I mean, if you got a deadbeat dad, look, I'm sorry. There just ain't nothing you could do. But there's a lot more dads who are in situations where they want to be more present and they want to be more helpful. Um, however, there, there's a lot of roadblocks, serious serious roadblocks and so when we have uh, mothers who are also maybe more patient and more understanding I think that's that's what's helpful because in my situation my children's mothers were really patient with me especially my oldest child because when I first had a kid I was 21 you know what I'm saying I didn't have nothing I was I was broke I was still in in college I didn't really have a whole lot but even when I did the littlest things she would say thank you and I'm telling you that went a whole lot further than maybe she can even imagine. And so when she said thank you for something that most mothers wouldn't say thank you for, most mothers that I know anyway, wouldn't say thank you for, it pushed me. It pushed me to do even more and more <clears throat> because the little that I did was appreciated. So, um, you know, patience, I, I think, on both sides is, is very, very key to having a positive relationship. My brother, you don't even know what you just did to my life. Mm -hmm. Mm. I had to catch my breath. That's what I was like, you just kept talking. It was perfect. Um, I just had to process what you said. You spoke to my life and then my life. And I'm going to tell you why. I've been dealing with the process of being distant from my daughter now for um, over a year now. But I still go back and forth and see her. And I just spent time with her. Um, but the process of having patience mm. and being able to understand and know that even if I don't feel appreciated, that I am, like you said. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. 
I've lost weight. I've lost a lot. I was very depressed because I didn't so appreciate it with little. Um, yep. I think the biggest thing would be my first father's day. I'll never forget it. It just was the, one of my worst. But my first one was like the worst one ever. And I'm like, I will never forget that. And every father's day comes around, I'm like, oh, I get that feeling like ah, it's coming around again. But, you know, what you said is what's important. And, and my daughter's only three. And it will take 12 years to get to that point of where the relationship I want to have with my daughter and my daughter's mom, then I'll wait to 12 years because I ultimately want to have that. And so patience is key. Like you said, I just want it to be happy now. Why can't it happen now? And that's right. my thing. Like, let's just do it. Why are you fighting me? Let's just do it. Right. Let's just be like, but it's not my process to, to deal with as well. It has to take its time in this course. And I have to understand that I need patience. So mm. thank you. Um, it definitely helped me to understand that um, I have more patience. And if it takes 12 years, then I guess I got to wait for 12 years. But knowing that now that patience is the most important key to this is what I'm doing. They have a different patience with me. She has a different patience with me. And it's, it's great. So I'm going to work on patience on my end. So thank you for that. Um, and my yeah. mother does many need to hear that. So um yeah, shout out to you in that. So we're going to keep things moving. This is also something that's another thing that's going to, you know, you know, be important. So Aaron first met you at the Fest Africa after your performance with the super dope DC-based mixed art creative collective, The Sanctuaries. Right. After a performance, after performance with your group, you explained that The Sanctuaries welcome any and everyone as they are. This really resonated with Aaron because he was really dealing with a lack of self-acceptance at that time in his life. And it was so comforting to hear of the welcoming of the group. Will this, two things, so will there ever be another one? And if also, if there is, will you partake in another one such group and um, perhaps extend it to other cities? Yeah, that's a very good question. First of all, shout out, yeah, Aaron, yeah, I forgot that that's how we, we even met. And I appreciate that reminder. Yeah, that, and and that was, that was an interesting journey. Uh, to do it again, I don't know, what we did was, was really, 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 really unique, um, and and other people wanted to do it. I think what we what we struggled with was the sustainability of it, right? As 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 a as a business, the smaller, the the things that got me involved, the things that got like uh, Aaron involved, which were earlier on, was was just this idea of building community um, amongst people that are different races, different religions, and different backgrounds and orientations. I think that was the that was the simple premise. Like when I first got there, that's what drew me in. That's what drew, you know, uh, brothers like Aaron in. But we kind of were growing. Once it started getting into like social justice and like issues and, and things like that, it became a little bit more different to uh, difficult to, to kind of maintain and manage. And then, you know, you got to find a direction and make mission statements. And mm -hmm. you're trying to be a 501c3. Yeah, that's a lot that goes people. into it. Yeah. You know, so I think that's where it became a struggle. Um, if there was something more organic, just solely based on people coming together without their issues, because I'm a black man, most of these people who are not like me, y'all don't want my issues, right? Y'all don't, y'all, people, honestly, I was just keeping it a thousand. You just, we don't, let's not do that. Let's not come together based on our differences and our issues. Let's find ways where we're similar, you know what I'm saying? And let's find ways where, where we can connect. If there's something <clears> like that, I would definitely, definitely be down to do that, you know, anywhere on earth, anywhere but, on earth. Well, I'm kind of jealous that I missed the first one. Um, so I'm always down to be a part of the second one um, because that's what I do, host events and make things move and happen. So I will speak mm -hmm. to, to the existence of this and say that if you want to do it again, it's, there's, there's resources, there's people, and there's things out there to make it happen, and it won't be as hard as you think it is. All it takes mm -hmm. is the, the few right people together to get it going. Um, but there are people nowadays in this day and age in this time that experience things that have been out of this world who are willing and yeah. able and ready to experience something like this. I haven't experienced it before from the way y'all talking about it. I want to experience, you know? So I'm sure there's yeah. people out there that want to experience it. And so I trust yeah. there's things, there's people in places now, you know, especially since the move and the shift of corona, there's the things that can in place that can happen if you want to make it happen, especially once things start to open up. So just put the seed out there, you know, speak things that are not as where they are. I, I call it yeah. S-double-I-E with a little fist like this. Speak things not as though they are, you know what I'm saying? We got the power in our work to make things happen and move the way we wanted to, so just speak that thing. Um, so, um, yes, you know, and the next thing is this. So you compare the game of Monopoly to real life and the need to give up and remain persistent. How has this analogy helped you in your life? Oh, man. Yeah, uh, because you're never, you know, when thinking about Monopoly, it's like you're never out of the game. Right. If as long as you still got the dice in your hand, and even if you only got a hundred dollars left, you on the board. You got if 
any when you get the dice in your hand, you can roll the dice. And every time you roll the dice, you have to believe that even if you don't believe that you're gonna win, you're not gonna win. If you're on the last place on the board, thinking that you're gonna win is not really gonna be is not gonna be good for your psychology. But can you make small gains? And so as long as I'm alive, as long as I wake up today, I can make a small gain. And a small gain is essentially a win. And so I think that, you know, sometimes pull back, right? When you're, you know, if you're in debt, let's say finance, and we were talking about monopoly, like if you're, if you're ten thousand dollars in debt, I mean, if you look at that whole ten thousand dollars, you're going to be like, man, I'm never going to be able to pay that back, and then it's going to really set you down into a depressed state. But it's kind of like, if you think about, oh, I got an extra hundred dollars this month, let me knock that out. Let me knock out, you know, fifty dollars here. Let me knock out you know, $200 there, then over time, you're going to be able to conquer that goal. So what I'm speaking to that is kind of breaking things down into small chunks. And uh, I think that's for, for me, that that's a healthier mind state to be in because winning anything is, is ultimately boils down to your mind state and not necessarily what you have or what you don't have. Right. Ooh, that was so deep, brother. Impactful. I thought Jim, thank you for dropping on Jim with us. Right. I mean, that was definitely dope. Yeah. yeah. So what has been the most troubling part of your journey this far? Oh man, the most. I don't know what the most is because they it's like they never end. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I think trying to, you know, do. I think the most troubling part is just feeling responsible for everything. That's what that I would say that like feeling like responsible for a whole lot of things. Like I feel responsible for myself. I have three children. I feel responsible for my children. I feel responsible. for <laughs> You know, my sister, my parents, I feel responsible for my community. I feel responsible for society. You know, that, that weight, you know, it's a real weight. And I think that that's probably um, the biggest challenge that I have. And, and and I think that sits on me heavy and something that, that I'm always trying to work to, to mm. kind of smooth over. Gotcha. Awesome. And, and so in that, that slip it, what's been the most rewarding? All of the same things, <laughs> um, being able to, to 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 be there, right? Being able to be present uh, for myself, being able to be present in my children's lives, like that is the most rewarding thing. Like it's a headache, it has been a head, the source of a lot of pain, but it's also been the source of a lot of joy. Um, also, you know, being able to be involved in in different types of communities, like we mentioned, the sanctuaries. It was a struggle for me because I had to break out of a lot of my my conditioning, right? But it was one of the most rewarding experiences. So, you know, I see the duality of of, of a lot of things, and I pre well, in a lot of times there's even triplicity. But the duality of a lot of things that even the things that you know I, I struggle with, they also bring me the same uh, in, in equal amount of joy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. And so um, maybe two more quick questions to wrap up this part of the interview. We'll get right into our quick, you know, versity questions we ask everybody that comes to the door. So um, what's the main thing that you want our audience to learn most about you also today? Um, I would say that uh, I'm not here to heal anybody. <laughs> I'm only here to heal my damn self. <laughs> and everybody should, you know, everybody is on their own collective journey. So whatever way we can walk, walk together, I'm there to walk with you. Gotcha. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Absolutely. So yeah, once again, Osa the Healer, O S A the Healer. You can find me on Instagram with that name. Also, too, you can go on my website, osathehealer.com slash shop. Get you a give me my six feet t shirt. You know, let people know that you practice in social distancing and you know somebody up on you and you in line and you hear somebody coughing on your back, you wanna get you a shirt. Osa the healer.com slash shop. Um, you know, support it. Also, you know, I'm uh, giving some proceeds to Doctors Without Borders and Child Health, um, just two organizations. I generally support like grassroots organizations, but you know, there's there's bigger things, bigger things going on in the world. It's like doctors who are actually on the ground responding to mm. COVID. There's yeah. actually because of COVID and people staying inside the house. There's a lot of children who are stuck in houses with abusers. So I, you know, I thought I would give some proceeds from from sales of this shirt uh, to to those organizations. So. If you want to support, go to osathehealer.com slash shop. Get a give me my six feet. I am for you. You just want to let people know to back up off you, too. 